So a dental crown, also known as a cap, is a cover that goes over your tooth. It's almost like a crash helmet that goes over the tooth to protect it from breaking more. Usually you need a crown on a tooth if you've had um, a breakage on the tooth or if you've got a very large filling, there's a crack in the tooth or you've had root canal treatment on the tooth. When you have root canal treatment on the tooth, it leaves the tooth quite brittle. So it's more prone to breaking in the future, cracking and fracturing. Doing a crown on the tooth then increases the longevity of that tooth and helps to protect it against external forces. So how do you do a crown on a tooth? When you go to see a dentist, they'll explain the procedure to you and get you to sign a consent form and explain all the things um, that go on when you have a crown done. Before the dentist starts the procedure, they will take an x-ray of your tooth to make sure that everything is healthy, there are no abscesses, it doesn't need root canal, and it is in a condition that um, it can receive a crown. So for the actual crown procedure, when you attend on the day, your dentist will numb you up and give you an injection, so you won't be able to eat anything for a few hours afterwards. So when you do come for your crown procedure, have something to eat before, wear quite comfortable clothing, because the crown procedure will be from about half an hour upwards, depending on what type of crown you're gonna have done. Your dentist will wait for you to numb up and then they will prep the tooth by shaving down the surfaces of the tooth to make the tooth into a smaller version of itself like a stump shape. So you may notice lots of suction and some drilling um, for some time as they reshape the tooth for it to um, accept the crown. The nurse will be there, there may be quite a lot of water and if you need to take breaks in between then just raise your hand and let your dentist know. After the prep part of the tooth is completed, your dentist will then put a retraction cord down around the tooth and this is to push the gums away from the actual tooth and to um, help to stop any bleeding if the, if the gums are bleeding in the area. After um, the retraction cord has done its work, your dentist will then have to take an impression or a mould of the tooth or a scan of the tooth. And this is to give the laboratory some information about the shape of the tooth so that they are able to make your crown for you. Your dentist will take a shade of the crown, um, which is the colour that your crown is going to be. So if it's a metal crown, then it will be sort of a gold coloured crown or a silver coloured crown or if it's a tooth coloured or a white crown, then they, there are different shades of white that your dentist can um, help you choose or your dentist will ch um, choose with you to make sure they match the rest of your teeth. Uh, just to be noted that if you do want to whiten your teeth, then it is worth doing that before you have your crown fitted so that your crown can fit the new white colour of your teeth. If you do decide to have whitening done later, just make a note that um, porcelain does not change colour. So although your other teeth, which may be of natural, the natural enamel on your other teeth may change colour, the porcelain may, will not change colour, it will remain stable. So um, when choosing the colour of your teeth, just bear that in mind. Once they have done the impression part and they're happy with that, um, they will put a temporary um, crown on the tooth. So with the impression, you may notice that they do an upper and a lower impression of both the arches. Um, even if you're just having a lower crown, your dentist will take an um, opposing arch impression um, on the opposite arch as well, just to make sure that um, the bite is correct and when you bite together with your new crown, it doesn't obstruct um, the way that you chew your food and the way that you bite together. Once the impression has been taken, then the dentist will either send it off to a laboratory or if a scan has been taken, it can be made in-house. Either way, um, you may have to wait for some time for the actual crown to be made. And then once you wait, if it's a short wait, then you may not have a temporary place. But if it's a long wait or you have to rebook after a few weeks, then you may have a temporary um, crown in place. Most of the time, the temporary crown is made of a plastic-like um, material, so it's not quite as hard as your permanent crown will be. So you do have to be a little bit careful eating hard foods or sticky foods, um, such as sticky toffees and things like that on that particular crown. Um, if it does break, then don't worry, you can go to your dentist and have it re-cemented or refixed. Um, but try and have a softer diet for, the, for that period of time to prevent that from happening. 
when you um, have the crown procedure done, uh, when you go home or if you're waiting, the numbness when it starts to wear off, it may be slightly achy in the area, it may be slightly sensitive and if that is the case then you can take some paracetamol. Um, whilst you're waiting avoid having anything hot, cold, um, hard or sweet to prevent any sensitivity. Of course if the tooth is root canal treated then um, you won't have a nerve in the tooth anyway so you may not get any pain but the gums may be um, aching or your jaw may be aching because you may have your jaw open for quite some time particularly if it's a back tooth you may have to open your jaw a little bit wider for the dentist to access that area. When you then come back for your fit visit, um, your dentist will remove the temporary filling that you've got and um, you may or may not need to be um, numbed with an injection on this visit depending on um, which type of crown you're going to have placed and how sensitive your teeth are. Um, if they're not sensitive and the tooth's already root canal treated, more than likely you won't need an injection. But if it is sensitive for you, then your dentist may give you an injection to make the procedure a bit more comfortable. So once you've had your injection done, the temporary will then be removed and the crown, uh, your permanent crown, will then be tested and fitted on. Your dentist will just try it on first and just make sure that you're happy with the bite and the colour, that the fit is okay um, and the look is okay and they'll just assess the crown and make sure that it's, you know, they're happy with it for it to be fixed on permanently. If everything goes well with the crown and you bite together and the bite doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like the crown is obstructing the bite and they'll go ahead and cement the crown in um, with different, um, there's different types of cement that they can use. Some procedures they may just be able to um, mix the cement and put it into the crown and simply fit the crown on and remove any excess cement and floss around the tooth and make sure that everything is okay. Uh, other types of crowns they may need to etch um, which is like a gel that they place on the tooth, then wash and dry it, and then prime the tooth, um, and then uh, shine a light on that particular tooth, and then cement it on, depending on what kind of crown you have. There's different types of crowns that you can have, um, all different ranges, so there's things such as metal crowns, gold and silver crowns, um, there are white crowns and porcelain crowns from Emacs to Zirconia, so lots of different materials that you can explore depending on what your particular situation is and depending on what you need that crown for. It tends to be that front teeth um, are usually white crowns that are uh, made out of Emacs, Back teeth can be white crowns as well, but made out of stronger substances such as zirconia. You can also have metal crowns as well in certain situations. Metal crowns need less shaving down of the tooth because they tend to be a lot thinner and metal is stronger in thin sections rather than the porcelain crowns which need a certain thickness. So that means that your tooth needs to be shaved down a little bit more. Once your crown has been fitted, you can then usually go away. Again, it may be a little bit achy, it may feel a little bit different for some time. It may take um, a few days to get used to it. If you do have any long-term problems, then do contact your dentist. Um, if the tooth, for example, hasn't been root canal treated and the tooth becomes sensitive over a period of time, then you may need to contact the dentist because you may need further treatment after having the crown done. Generally, crowns are a great way of protecting and increasing the longevity of your teeth and saving your teeth for a longer period of time. They tend to last for about 10 years, but it depends on how well you look after them, your diet, how often you eat hard things on them or if there's any trauma to them. But every person is different and you can ask your dentist and you're in your particular circumstance. <laughs>